Morning guys, um, pre-season, uh, early start this morning. Um, I to get into work about five o'clock, so uh, here you goes. Um, I go and do a bit of training myself until about six o'clock and I like to, to get up to the office about six, that's when um, you know, the other coaches start to come in, so um, yeah, find it a really good time in the morning to, to get work done uh, for myself. Uh, you know, I gotta spend a little bit of time on myself, and do a bit of training myself, so um, yeah, looking forward to the to the day. It's a it's a big day today. We've got four sessions, and um, yeah, I like to be ready to roll for when the players come in. So um, during pre-season, typically Tuesday is our biggest day of the week. Um, I try and get into the facility by five five a.m. Uh, players are expected to be here for seven thirty. So some players today will do four sessions, and um, you know the coaches. Generally speaking, they're around about 6 o'clock, 6.30, so um, that's the rest of the coaching staff. Some will come in and train, similar to me, uh, but this is our busiest day, and um, you know, it, it's a bit, a bit of a grind the pre-season, but um, you know, we're working really hard to try and um, you know, improve individually and collectively, so that's why uh, we need to have days like today. I'm ready for day 14 of the Spitface Leadership Challenge, so I'm ready to tap in. I'm doing a 30-day challenge to raise awareness for men's mental health. Um, it's called the... Uh, the Spitface Leadership Challenge. Um, it's about raising awareness, as I said before, um, with regards to men's mental health, and um, it's about stepping into the line every single day and being accountable. So it's the very first thing I do when I come into work and uh, really enjoying the program and um, being an ambassador for that great cause. Doesn't get any easier. It was tough this morning, felt good though. Felt stronger. So um, this morning's pretty much about um, preparing for uh, the meetings this morning. We have a meeting at 9.30, sorry, um, rather a meeting at 8.30 this morning, and myself and, and one of the assistant coaches will, will present at that, so um, it's about pulling together the training reviews that we did yesterday afternoon and um, you know, showing the, the clips that um, we feel as though the group need to see. Um, uh, my role is just to um, narrow our focus a little bit so rather than give the players uh, you know eight or nine things we really want to narrow our focus to two or three things that we want to work on for today so that's the idea of, of our team meetings and that's um you know that's my job to um, pull out the vision that we want to show the players and, and keep track and jet chest with the ring and then i want you to highlight um patty carrigan up to there yeah hold it there that's been a long time. Is this 34 30 or something <laughs> <laughs> Rather than wait for me, I prefer you guys to, you know, Lodgy, you know, or Lexi, or if you can dabs, coffee, but jump in there, hey boys, it's not good enough for everyone come in. I reckon you can reset the group. If you want to get what you want out of it, because of an attack focus drill, bring everyone in, reset, and then yeah. go back to work. But we'll, so what's a couple of key things that we're working on at the moment with our edge team? Just starting point. Um, idea shape yeah. and just communication. Yeah, working together. Yeah. Alright, so I think you do it. <laughs> How are we going to win without the footy this year? So I want you to have a look at the game model here. What parts of our game model don't we have the ball? So you personally having the footy in your hands for that 55 minutes is really small. Individually, collectively, how are we going to win without the footy? <laughs> what we've done is, you know, the consequence MAS, uh, not MAS, but the consequence um, fitness block at the end, we had to move that up, okay? And I reckon Bull can, I reckon Bull can, ball. Yeah, Bull, Bull can go for um, Reese Kennedy. Yeah. I reckon Pete, you, you get some feedback, pull some some feedback out yep. of them after the attack block and then cross her you try and get them moving as soon as they can they know the rules of that one so yeah. Yeah, so it's a really tough start in the session we've got three red drills out of the four so that um, edges drill we'll give them a good rake after the grenade test then Kurt you come and get them into their three teams yeah. and we'll just take them. so we're across the field now uh, we're still training over in the um, golf field across the road uh, until we start playing our trial games so the, today's session is called the Reaper session and um, we focus a lot on our defence today so I'm um, trying to get better, better with that aspect of our game. Shirts have got the ball going that way on the 10th. Here we go, let's jump out of the blocks here, you've got five minutes in the block. 
Good free test. Grenade, 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 Terps. Yeah, nice, Dubs. Hey, Kurt, that was a try from Dubs, mate. Hey, Webby, hey, Webby. Hey, Webby, Logic. Let's get him off the hang, Webby. Oh, that was good keeping it simple, boys. Didn't overcomplicate it. And we just had the one error of my kick. So the tackle was put up and up and that. But for competing our kicks, good chase there by Darbs. Yeah, we're defending well, getting kick pressure on, not, not giving up in fifth tackle once your job's done. Hey, hey what, what was our defence like? Particularly inside our 10 metre zone. How were we, Darbs? Real good, yeah. 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 Working really hard from the inside, okay? Lexi, it's a good trap, okay? We didn't quite scrap it, but that's okay. Just defend the next set. I thought they were good, yeah. Um, we need to that. Yeah. I just think it, it, one of the real positives for me out of this preseason is, is when I get the leaders together and challenge them to dr drag the group through a drill. They've been doing that really well. And again, they did it today. So you think they hit them? Yeah. Well, they hit all the time, so they changed Well, the just in that first block, we got live data back, so. So we're on our way to wrestle now. Um, so, you know, the reason why I like um, including wrestle in our program, I suppose, is for, for two uh, specific reasons. One, that the physical attributes that I feel, um, you know, in the gains that we get um, by, by doing our wrestle sessions with Alex, and, and second to that, I think, you know, in a, you know, a combative sport like rugby league, I think, you know, wrestling gives the guys, um, you know, great confidence in, in that, you know, in that collision space. So um, we see, you know. See it as having some twin benefits there, and um, you know, like you know, like the guys doing it, I like to see who competes, who doesn't compete. And, um, you know, we, we sort of do it weekly uh, or twice a week in the preseason, and uh, depending on our turnaround in season, we'll do some sessions as well. But um, you know, we see, we see some real um, significant benefits out of doing it. Go, 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 go. Back from the wrestle session, um, you know, quality session there today. Alex um, does a really good job as our as our coach there. Um, so just packing up the computer, uh, tidying some things up uh, to prepare for tomorrow morning. But uh, we're really fortunate at the Broncos to have some real quality people come in. So we're going to finish the day with um, uh, some professional development. We've got Franz Bosch, who's a, um, a world leader in um, speed coaching and sprint coaching and um, he's been in Australia recently doing some consultancies um, you know, across a number of different codes so he spent the last couple of days with us so we're finishing his time here with a um, yeah, professional development session for the coaching staff and our performance staff so I'm really looking forward to finish the day with, with a quality session. So uh, that's the end of a typical pre-season day, um, early start, uh, late finish but um, yeah, we got better today which is what it's all about. Um, yeah, you know, my mentality with regards to pre-season as we get up and do it all again tomorrow morning. And um, yeah, that's that's the the challenge with us as a coaching staff, with us, with us as a group. We want to try and get better every single day. So um, look forward to doing it again tomorrow morning.